I'm just here talking about a huga, which is uh, what you see Gail and I wear and proudly here on our shirts. And a huga is a part of a, a, a mental strength, mental health uh, initiative to uh, help people realize that they don't always have to stay in the dark, they can come into the light. And, uh, you know, I've been watching quite a few of the videos on here and, and uh, Kevin had, had asked me to uh, share my story because he saw me wearing a pink shirt a while back for anti-bully day and uh, I actually am joined right now with uh, my good friend Gail Wagner who uh, I'll get to Gail a little bit further into the story but I'm going to start by just talking about you know when when I was in junior high and high school um, I hung around with a, a tribe back then but they weren't really a, a tribe that meant good sometimes so uh, Unfortunately, some of our actions uh, ended up hurting other people. And, you know, looking back now, I can realize that. But living through it at that time, I didn't realize what I was doing to other people when I was, you know, bullying people. So it was really uh, eye opening as my kids started uh, wearing pink shirts and, you know, talking about bullying more and the awareness grew. It kind of made me reflect and look back to, uh, you know, the person that I was back when I was his age and back in elementary school, junior high, high school, and, you know, learning along the way uh, what kind of a, a person I was back then. And, you know, thinking about some of the people that I've hurt um, maybe unintentionally. And, you know, my, me and my friends would laugh about things and, and not realizing that uh, there was someone on the other side of that story that was uh, in pain and, you know, hurting from all that. So um, I guess this is a story of darkness coming into the light because, uh, you know, many years later, uh, me and my friend Gail uh, were opened up and started talking about how, you know, she said, John, you were such an ass back then. <laughs> and it's, it's true. I, I was, and I admit it. And, you know, um, but it really, uh, it hits home to hear it from somebody that was on the other side of that story for so long. And uh, Gail, I don't, I don't know if you want to talk right now about, you know, how it felt to be on the other side of that story. It sucked. <laughs> it did. Uh, walking through the halls and you hear, what was it, SSG, um, which I guess stood for Super Sexy Gail, which I was not part of like the cool crowd and um or i don't even know how, how you did it but you'd say gail but it was like i could hear it from the other end of the hallway um and it, but it wasn't just you there was there was a, like you said there was a group um i can remember uh mr mcdonald's grade nine class and he got called away and one not you but one of them threw the desk together and he started uh dancing on it in front of me and have that happen and have your your peers all laughing thinking it's funny when it's not um i didn't think it was funny um and then uh another episode was pizza hut that was there with my family for supper and uh funny we was... can laugh about stuff now but really it wasn't funny then no, it it wasn't. It wasn't. I think I I think I cried my way through that supper. I think that was that was it was it was a, it was pretty embarrassing with my parents and and then hearing everybody taunting back there and yeah, it was it was awful. But um, you just got past it. And I, I guess high school, I hoped it had stopped. And then I can remember being in uh, Mr. Cross's math class. And I was the only girl. And I think there was three others that were involved in the bullying that were in that class. Oh my, I dreaded going to math class, dreaded it. But we've gotten past it. That's right, from mental strength. And, uh, you know, Kevin and his wife both talk about his, or his wife's name's Fran. And they talk about mental strength and, you know, coming out of the darkness and into the light and and it's it's huge when you think about it i mean um my my childhood wasn't super great growing up either i had a lot of anger built up and you know i i did some bad things through my youth that were uh, probably 
looking back now caused by some of the trauma that I went through in, in growing up, right? So, uh, you know, you never know what's going on in people's lives. And uh, I guess some of the things that I overlooked and, uh, you know, I apologize to you later for and, and uh, you know, I just uh, felt so bad and I still do for what happened, but I'm glad that both of us could get past it and, you know, look at it a different way. And hopefully, uh, you know, this talk right now will uh, get out to some people and, and help them realize that, you know, it's not okay to be a bully. And maybe, maybe like ignorance, I, I can't plead ignorance fully, but, you know, back then I wasn't uh, as aware of bullying as I am now uh, with the pink shirt day and all this stuff. It's, it's, it's huge. Like to look back and like when I, when I was teaching my kids about bullying is that's when I realized the most that I was a bully. And, and I was like, Jesus, what was I doing? Like, I can't believe I hurt so many people by making fun of them and teasing them. Uh, I mean, there's, I got countless amount of names in my head. Like I'm going through them right now, thinking back through high school and, you know, there was uh chappy and flippy and all the people that we used to just make fun of all the time. And, and, you know, it, you get in a, a group of jocks or whatever, and you think that that's a funny thing to do, but honestly, uh, you know, you're, you're hurting somebody on the other end and it's, and the pain is real. So, oh, I just, and I know, uh, that's why I'm thankful that you came on here and talked to me about this, because I mean, people need to hear from your side about bullying and I mean I'm trying to tell from my side my experience which wasn't like you know intentional by any means and I totally regret everything that I did through high school and junior high to other people not knowing so but I think uh, the fact that you and I got past it you know we had the mental strength to get beyond what we uh, what we went through and become good friends I mean I haven't met a better mechanic, uh, Steve. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I do without Steve uh, helping fix my car. And he's just uh, such a great guy. And you know, it's uh, nice to have your guys' friendship. And Tina and I really enjoy hanging around with you guys. And you know, um, some of the best friends uh, come from any enemies in the beginning. So, like, be going from the darkness to the light is a is a big theme here on this. And you know, well, I just. Um, there are some good too because well I was I was always quiet and shy like in junior high and high school and then it was like I had my daughter Kayla and I was just like uh-uh no not anymore no now I've got to I can speak for myself and it I didn't I don't shy away from it and so I mean I did I did learn I learned something from it too so yeah well, you had to be strong, that's for sure. You learned strength from it, guaranteed. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, as far as, uh, like, this chat here, I just wanted to, I, first of all, thank you very much for uh, coming in and talking with me uh, and trying to help me raise awareness with, uh, in, in line with Ahuga. These guys are a great group who are, uh, you know, trying to focus people back onto their, mental health and mental strengths as we uh, need to fight through this other bully called COVID. So, uh, you know, yes. it's been uh, bullying our world around and, uh, you know, we're just going to be strong and push through it. Um, as you know, like Friday nights, I play music and try to bring positive back to the community as much as I can. And, you know, just uh, trying to help people get through it. And, uh, Meanwhile, I'm trying to struggle and get my family through it all as well. So just trying to stay positive as much as we can. And, and we're going to get through this. It's awful. <laughs> yeah. I look forward to your Friday night. So <laughs> <laughs> right on Friday nights in the shed with John Sierra fire and beer. Good to there meet you. Go. That's great. <laughs> so, uh, Anyways, Gail, thank you very much for uh, not, not only joining me, but having the courage to speak about it. And I mean, do you have anything you would want to say to somebody that was a bully and uh, let them know how it feels? Speak, oh, from, your, speak I, from your heart. Until you're in that position, it's, it's hard to even, 
oh, it's hard to describe it. Like it, to have everybody laugh at you and and oh, like just hear the the taunting from the the hallway and. I mean, I can still hear you saying my name and however the voice you did, I could hear that. I swear from upstairs at Moen High. Gail. That's it right there. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that's it. That's it. We can laugh yeah. about it now, but it was oh, uh, didn't realize how much it was torturing you back then, but I apologize and uh like I said, uh, stop you've already apologized. You don't need to apologize anymore. And it, but, and it wasn't just you, it wasn't just you. There was like five, six, maybe seven more involved in the. Well, hopefully if those people are on my Facebook, uh, they'll recognize that they uh, were doing wrong as well with me. So uh, Here's hoping. maybe they'll learn and be able to teach their kids the same kind of valuable lesson. And I hope that their kids never have to experience it. Definitely not. All right. Well, listen, Gail, thank you very much. Uh, I don't want to take too much of your time and uh, I just want to thank uh, Kevin and Fran for everything that they're doing as far as mental health goes. I know uh, my family uh, suffered a few losses due to mental health and uh, you know it's uh, it's really close to me now in my heart. Uh, I don't want anybody to have to go through that. So anything I can do to speak on behalf of people that need help for mental health, uh, you know, I'm all in so uh, just letting you know uh, take care and uh, see you friday nights on john sear music page there's all a right. shameless plug <laughs>